our bow mate. Um, Hi guys. Again. Hey. <laughs> What's up? So we're just continuing where we left off. Um, I think last time you saw us recording, we were we were just finished up with Asus, I, I believe. Um, and then we decided we're just gonna go do some grinding, I guess, in the other places. So uh, yeah, we're here back, and Garlos is gonna show us a couple of things. Um, uh, mainly showing how to give gifts to your companions, and uh, also how to add augments to your your gear. So this will be interesting because this is something I don't know about at all. So, and it'll be a nice uh, little tutorial for you guys as well. Let's so do it over here, checking this out. <laughs> Uh, you don't have much. <laughs> well, anyway, so um, what's the plan? What's, All right, uh, so let's start off with companion gifts. Okay, so we're going to start off. Um, I do, you know about the uh, Chem Val storyline, right? Because you talked to them in private before. Yeah, I know a little bit of the story, sure. So every time that you give him a gift, which he likes, it increases affection. The greater the affection of your companion, the greater chance when you get him to craft something or send him on an exploring mission to get materials, he'll critical hit, which means that for you, Samir, when you uh, craft your cyber tech stuff, instead of making you one, he might make you two. Ah, I've seen that a couple of times, actually, where he's done that. Or and when it, you... It yeah. just like, increases the chances of that happening? Yep, it increases the chance. Okay. Um, when you send him away uh, to gather materials, instead of him bringing back just normal green stuff, he might bring you back a rare material when he critical hits. Okay. Cool. Also, there are other companions when you get further into the storyline. I won't break it. I won't kill it, the suspense too much, but or I mean spoil it. But some companions, when you get to a certain affection level, they will mail you gifts. Oh. Okay. Cool. So. I'm going to start off by giving you something, and I farmed this today. I thought I was going to get back a green, and it actually gave me back a purple. Oh. Uh, the number one affection gift for Kim Val is a cultural, cultural artifact. Okay. So I'm going to give this to you. I think and I have you one see of those. Like eight so, culture, I think I might have one like in my thing. I, don't, I didn't know what to do with it. But okay. So you put this in your inventory, and that stuff I just gave you, it's level five. It usually sells for like 12000 on the GTN. Oh, God. Hmm. So what you do now is you right-click to give that to Kemvao. Okay. Giving gift to Companion. Do what the Whoa. 576 affection. Holy that's hell. Because, that's because it's an artifact quality level 5 um, Companion gift. Alright. And he said I now never received such a gift, so I'm guessing he's... Uh, he liked that very much. <laughs> on, him, on him now, did, did it bring up any more, um, uh, let's say... Uh, well, affection went quite a bit. Hmm. Yeah, affection went up. Does it give you any, uh, like a little wee thing beside his name to say you can speak to him in private? Or he no, wants to? No, not nope? yet. Okay. Because um, I just talked to him... Remember I mentioned it last time when we before we started playing yesterday. Um, he, I just talked to him then, so... Right. I'm okay. guessing it's maybe quite shy of getting another time to talk to him. I don't, I don't know, but we'll see. Right now his affection's at 1,938 out of 10,000, so I'm guessing maybe 2,000 or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know the actual uh, amounts that he gives his conversation pieces. At some point, I won't spoil it too much, he will send you on a quest to discover something, and you have to go with him to a different planet. I think that's that one that where you meet the other the shot or whatever i've spoiled myself a little bit again oh, what you doing man oh no, i know i'm bad i'm horrible but, I, I, I didn't i didn't and look too like... i didn't look too much into it i didn't I, all i know is that all i know is that about it i don't really look into it more than that so okay listeners forget everything that samir said about spoilers spoilers i know i'm sorry i'm bad you can yeah, punch me you can you can curse at me later <laughs> okay but so that's that's that... not major spoilers so. no no <laughs> So that is companion it. gifts, and um, here is the one you can give to DJ to oh. give to uh, Vet. Ah. And uh, sure um, DJ, the number one gift for Vet at this point in your storyline uh -huh. is uh, Underworld goods. Oh. She likes Underworld goods. That's interesting. 
Yeah, she likes the underworld stuff. She actually has space, one of her skills is like an underworld thing, right? And her whole storyline is that she she basically is a kind of a scoundrel. Like she likes to she get artifacts and sell them. That's why she likes underworld goods. Uh -huh. Uh And if you go on Swartor or you can Google it and go Swartor um, uh, affection level or something like that, it'll bring up a whole chart of what their favorites are. Oh, nice. When you get to the romance section of Vet, then she likes other stuff. She likes courting uh -huh. gifts. Ah, okay. Makes sense. But you can't obviously court Kevin. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to. We could. Or you have little Kim you babies hurt running around. Bit, but... Oh, this is nasty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so the next thing, I guess we'll move on to augmenting gear. Okay. Sounds good. So what I'm going to give you now, I'm going to open up a trade. It is for, I'm going to give you a, an Alcritty Augment Relic Quality. Because I, I believe okay. you have some gear that has an all open Augment slot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember I mentioned that I had the belt slot open, so... Yep, I so here open. is something you can put in the belt. Ooh, do some 7 Alcritty. Al Alcritty, I can't pronounce that. Oh, yep. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Pretty. What that does is it decreases the amount of cooldown of your spell times. Nice. Cool. Alright, and here it is, guys. This is my belt slot. It has a augment slot. Uh, augment slot MK1. I'm not sure what the MK1 is all about. But uh, let's see if this goes in here. This augment card is a more powerful augment slot. So I can't, oh, I can't even put that in there. Oh, shoot, it might, it, it might be a little bit overpowered. <laughs> you know what it Maybe. probably might, it might need? Okay, this oh, actually it says, to the next. It the says next MK2, then. actually, or better. So I actually do have an MK2 kit for you. Oh, okay. All right, so now we're going to... Well, actually, this is a great segue right. into the next part. <laughs> yeah, one. so basically you need to match up slot uh, thingy here. It says augment slot MK1 right here. And you have to match it up with the actual augment, um, and it gives you the stat bonuses, just like... The, you know the mods and the armorings we get and all the other items pretty much yep. the same thing okay so what's okay so uh, next i'm going to give you an mk2 kit and then i'll tell you how to use that machine in back of you to uh increase your augment open slot so you can use that uh that uh, augment i just gave you okay okay all right so this is an mk2 kit sweet now, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the machine. You're going to go to one of the... Oh, can't see my thing here. Um, <laughs> auto modification station. So, this is one right here. You guys have seen this a couple of times in my past videos. Um, so, what do I do it over here? <laughs> now, what you're going to do is it, it probably opens up... I'll just pretend to do it and I'll walk through the steps. It's, it brings up a workbench screen, right? Yep. Click you're going to take... I guess it's your belt you're going to augment. Well, it has the, the Mark II one slot, so should I just change it to a Mark II? Can I do that? Yep. You change it to Mark II. Would it be beneficial to put something else? Put it put it on something else, you think? Mm, just for Cause simplicity. Because then, then I could probably get another Mark I augment for that thing later. And I don't know. Okay. I figured so that would be better. So do it to something else. Something that you're going to be keeping, because you know, if you're going to trade up something quick, it would just be a waste, right? Wait, what do you mean? Say it again? Well, you don't want to augment something else right now that... Um, that I'm going to try to throw off eventually? Yeah, like, really, or, relatively or soon. soon. In that case... Like, is there another purple thing I gave you that you're not going to be trading up soon? Yeah, I'm looking through those right now. I have the chest piece... Well, actually, hold on. Because now that I think about it, you gave me, like... Hold on, let me back away from this. Alright, so I have... No, not that's not it. Where is this chess piece that you gave me? Oh, here, oh there here's, it is. A, here's one. Wait, no, that's not it. Um, what, what happened? Um, I have two other things I want to give you. I have a level 19 hand gear that has an open augment slot. Actually, maybe well, we I should have, just... Well, go I, ahead. Have, I have this purple-orange one that you gave me. Wait, was this one you gave me? I don't even remember. Robe of Insight something that was level 21 i can't I we, worry just yet did we pick that up i think, did we I think pick that was it a up? drop yeah was it it was a drop when we did uh ate this maybe i'm not sure um 
there's a headgear that I can't wear yet that's also level 21 which is giving me a lot of good stats so I'm thinking of, and then I also have oh I also have that belt you gave me the the empty one that has like the armor slot and the mod slot open yep maybe yeah, I remember card's level 27 though <laughs> Okay, but so, so don't bother doing it that one, because you'll never use it soon. Yeah. So I'm thinking this head slot, actually. Okay. Yeah, this one that, that's level 21, so I might, I'm going to do that. Okay, so... So you, I, drag that, you drag that over to the open slot. It says, click here to show items you may mod modify. What the hell? What was that? My no, roommate, the, the football game's on. My roommate's oh. Oh. <laughs> clapping about it. Okay, <laughs> so it... I put the thing in. There's yep. slots for all other stuff in there already. It says add an augment slot. I'm guessing I have to click that. Yep, and then you're going to scroll down to MK2. MK2. And there's the augment kit 2, my QE mentioned. So, I'm going to buy. I'm going to yep. buy it. I have mm -hmm. to purchase this? Even though you gave me one? You, you still you have in... to There's still a fee in order to put it in. Oh, there is? Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, just wait until later when you're doing the, the higher stuff, MK sixes. They charge thirty thousand credits. Jeez, Shit. that's crazy. You just burn through money in this game. Yeah, okay. you're just you're just you have so much money by that time that you're fine. <laughs> All right, well, buy the augment slot. And, and game. Yep. Okay. So that's All right. it now. And so now, now just move that augment over into there. Boom. And apply. Nice. Oh, and I'm frozen. Okay, there you go. Sweet. So that's how you do uh, add your own augments to items. Nice. Pretty and, cool. And then it's pretty easy to just add augments to an open slot that's already there, right? So. Yep. And then okay. when you take stuff out, I, it doesn't charge you. It doesn't charge there you is, augments? Yeah, it doesn't. If you just take one out, I don't believe it charges you at this level. Hmm. <laughs> the orange stuff, if you take armor mods out, they will charge you a fee to remove it, unfortunately. I think it's free if you do it at the modification station, though. Yeah, nope. is it? No? Wow. Nope. See. They Let still will charge you. Oh god, it does. You're right. See? <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna bother myself, then. Okay, you, I have you, have to, you have to charge for the augment, too, actually. Yep. Okay. That's what I mean, they charge for everything. <laughs> yeah, I have a right. couple more things to give you. I just need an augment slot for that belt now, but anyway, that's eventually. You, you can okay. buy IMK2 kits at the GTN. All so right. here's another um, Alcrity one. When you get a chance, when you do have one that accepts it. Ah, okay. Here's something you can wear now, if it's better than what you have. That's heavy. Oh, okay, you can give that to DJ then when you see him. Okay. Yay! <laughs> and this is also for DJ. Sweetness. And this Ooh, augment is like also this. for DJ. Win! <laughs> oh, where'd it go? It's gone. Disappeared. He doesn't want to give it to you. <laughs> oh, where'd it go? <laughs> Wait, there you go. Oh, there it is. Wait. And. It's a minute. Oh, okay, I see. Is there anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Cool. I have to remember which one to give you now. <laughs> well, actually, I do have one more to give you. Something else. I have to too much stuff in my inventory now. I need to go to a cargo thing. This, this is really good stuff when you actually get to this level. This was a nice drop. Woo! 35. Damn. Huh. But uh, the same thing is you actually can make this on your own. <laughs> yeah, I probably could. But thank you anyway. That's the materials I have to spend. <laughs> there you go. Alright. Awesome. That's very cool. So I hope you guys found this uh, educational, I guess. <laughs> In Yay, education! <laughs> no! We're playing a video game! No! <laughs> no education in video games! But you know the good or thing is helpful, that helpful. That's there's a better word to use right now. There's not a lot of <laughs> yeah. videos on YouTube explaining how to do this stuff. Yeah, that's very nice. true. So, it's always nice to do this stuff. Definitely. I suppose. Alright, well, that covers that. I'm gonna go get rid of some stuff because my pack is overly full. And uh, then I'll meet you guys. Got ugh, can't speak. I'll meet you guys down there in uh, black by near black. Ugh, I can't speak. What the fuck is near wrong black with me right temple. now? <laughs> near black temple. Near black temple. I am having the worst lisp right now. Do you want to go on the bad. ship with me to drum and cost, make it faster when you're ready? Uh, pff, I have, well, I have my own ship, but um. Oh, that's right. You do now.
But, um... I don't. <laughs> we need to get rid of... Well, I guess we'll just head to the ship, because the cargo bay is in the ship anyway. So... Where is the Sith Inquisitor? There it is. Okay. Well, you can go down there. So, yeah, I'm gonna head over there. Just run around. <laughs> Whoa. Alright, so I'll meet you guys there in, uh, Black Temple. Near Black Temple, anyway. Bye, right. guys! See you guys there. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back. We are on the way to the... Well, there it is right there, Dark Temple Approach. <laughs> and, like, the Perfect. thing came up just as we were saying that. But yeah, so DJ got all his quests for the Black Temple. I'm just going to help out as much as I can for now. And there goes Strato. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Run away. But um, yeah, we're just going to go and help him finish up. And, just going to go uh, in and just kill people. Kill things, kill all the things. Don't kill all the things for us, actually, Garlo, because then we nope. won't get experience points. And I'm running away from DJ when I should be protecting him. Exactly. I am doing a wonderful job horrible as a healer. <laughs> Yellow. Sith Relic. Oh, yeah. I actually did that, too. Heals. More dots. More dots. I just love how Cam does not do anything unless I attack. Like, uh, yeah, he should. Oh, like, I feel like he should. Oh yeah, let me take the taunt off of him. Oh, oh yeah, he is taunting. I, 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 yeah, I took that off of him. Alright, well... Let's go around killing things. Uh, not that way. This way. This way? Well, I... Let's kill this guy. He's a... He's like a silver. There's tons of things and... You well, get... Yeah. Did, 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 uh, I wanna get more experience! <laughs> there's tons of enemies on the way. <laughs> <laughs> this guy didn't even do anything. <laughs> Basically, I just like hit him, and he just was like, "Eh." Why can't I see any of our companions right now? Oh shit! I lost you guys. Yeah, we lagged a little behind. <laughs> yeah, we didn't go very far. All right, let me just jump on them, squash them yep. bugs like the juggernaut. Exactly, like the juggernaut. Cam, go do some. Oh my god, Cam, you are. Did you just? Did you see how epic that was right there? Yeah, those me people. and uh, me and Vet, we we do good, we doing good. What's this over here? What is this thing? This what? Is this something you can do? That? Oh no, archaeology. Arium crystal formation. Yeah, archaeology fifty five. Right. And I'm not. I'm only like seventeen ish on it. I don't even know. Meh. Up here. Uh, where is the thing now? That's what I'm trying to remember. Alright, so we want to show you where the Matrix Assembler is, which is actually coming up. You can, I think you can see it from here? Maybe? Yes, I think that's it right there, actually. Uh, or, I don't know. Whatever, but anyway. It's along this wall. There's we'll, guys over we'll, here to the right. I'm going to jump in on them. Go for it. We'll just murder stuff on the way to Temple. It's all good. On the way to Temple. <laughs> <laughs> I just had like a thought and I was like, Cam, go fight stuff. Stop being lazy. God. He's like so all useless. aliens. So lazy. I'm kidding. That's, that was that was bad. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, then. <laughs> that was horrible. Um So what are we doing? There's a guy over here. Wait, where are you oh okay. I got him on my own. Me and Bet have him. Just kill all the things. She just shoots like insanely fast. It's good. She's doing really what about good then. This guy, deranged apprentice. I can see him though. I just like jump sideways. <laughs> oh, I should probably. I'm really interested in playing like an imperial agent or a trooper or something. Soon. Like a shooter, like a shooter. Yeah. Kind of, kind of that would be pretty cool. Adrian working robes. Um pass on I'll pass on <laughs> We we both passed. We don't like, want it. Nope. <laughs> well, I agree. We don't want it. it. Gives it to us. Like, I Do some work, Cam. <laughs> Deflecting those blaster shots like nothing. Me or him? Um. um where is it? Where is it? I just heard him talking to you. Yeah. 
Destroy, destroy. What the John? Alright, cool. I well, thank you for the heals. Healers me. Healer me. I think we're coming up to it. I think I see right it up now. here on the left. Yeah, I think that's I saw it right green, there. like a green thing. Yeah. Yep, it's up Jump. here. Oh, didn't mean to shield myself. Oh, but you have a shield on you already. Oh. Ah. Oh. And uh, too easy. Just way too easy. Oh, we're so OP. Our old penis is quite big. Quite big. <laughs> it is. Oh, we're walking into a Marvin storm. <laughs> Marvin, Marvin, Marvin the monster. Mm -hmm. Marvin the mon. I don't know. <laughs> Garlo. Bounce. Oh. oh Spawn the Ah, these things. <laughs> so many things. I swore like a sailor. <laughs> Alright, so, let me open up the map. Right here, basically, on the map, you'll find this, uh, group phase. Oh, no, it's just a phase in the thingy. Phase. <laughs> I don't think anyone can actually... I'm gonna walk can y'all join in with me, or... Yes, you can. Okay. Yeah, well, it's in Maybe under my story it. area. I have my story area. Well, it's in my own, so I don't know. Interesting. Mm. So I never actually walked all the way up to it. <laughs> <laughs> but. Oh, okay. Assembly chamber. Achievement Matrix data cross. Oh, yeah. Nice. So there it is. And basically, you need matrix shards to Which we have make... three, right? Well, you need three. And I think I only have two. Let me look at my mission items, actually. Yeah. I only have a red and yellow one, unfortunately. Choose input? Why not? Let's see what happens. You must activate all three input panels. Oh, so this is what's... Oh, I can't see you guys at all, actually. Yeah, I can't see you either. Ah, so here. So this is where you would enter the three different shards. And based on the three shards you enter, you get something Aww, really nice. I don't nice have here. the right com combination of shards. <laughs> I wonder if you can enter two shards. I don't think so. I'm gonna try, just for the hell of it. Ooh, that's pretty cool. That's a nice graphic there, actually. I like that, yeah. And activate. You must activate all three input panels. Never mind. But, yeah, so you see the point. You get three different things, and then you can activate that, and you get a matrix shard... Cube. Cube, not a shard. And then you can use that as a relic. Oh yeah, we do only have the red and yellow, currently. Now remember the green one, if I get the yellow, green, red, green, I can get something that's actually pretty, like, that's like the lowest level for me, that would be good. Mm -hmm. The very best thing would be three reds, which would be, like, totally awesome, so. I just put those on. Like, but I just thought it was really cool. I just pressed the colors. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, that's about it for Matrix Shard thingy. Yeah. That's kind of it in Little a nutshell. Matrix Shard. I know the green, there's a green one on uh, Balmora. Go, Is that uh, where go, we go next? Yes, so right. I'll, we'll eventually go over all the data crons and stuff there once I've progressed a little bit more with the story. So you guys see that relatively soon. Where you leave Bow Moral to, I'll show you what the data crons are. Is there a right. Oh, okay, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Alright, um, so that's it. We can just go do more. Jump right in. Murder and stuff. 